Yes! More this way, more this way. Drama at sea! It's every plus size person's nightmare. You travel to a fabulous location, but your suitcase gets lost along the way. Oh, just go and buy new clothes, your thinner friends might say, because they don't know that if you're above a certain size, your chances of finding clothes that fit are small. Well, I'm about to turn the nightmare into a dream come true. I'm gonna visit eight cities with just the clothes I'm wearing. Then I'm gonna try and find a day look and a night look to explore the city. Will I be too nude to leave the hotel? Woo! It's the Empty Suitcase Show, and we're about to find out. I can't believe it's finally happening. I know, and we're going to Seattle! After all this time. Devin is actually going to be joining us for this episode, but she is going to meet us in Seattle. Mm -hmm. Because she has plans. Because she has friends. In cities. Devin and Freddie will be joining me for two episodes apiece, and then Jen will be joining me for the last four episodes. Okay, it's cold. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go to the hotel. We can meet Devin at the hotel. I came early to Seattle to scope out the place. I made it to the Ace Hotel first. Kristen and Mike should be arriving any moment now. It is cold in Seattle. Like, I packed a fall jacket. So I'm wondering what she's gonna do. Oh my God, look who's here. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Welcome, Welcome to Seattle. Thank you. Oh, hi, Mike. Welcome to Seattle. Oh, I live here now. I live here now. I'm a local. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Hi. Oh, where's your jacket? I, it's, I don't know. Oh, come on! <laughs> I got a jacket. <laughs> oh. You're keeping me warm. Yeah, Gideon, Gideon. <laughs> Should we um, change and rest up for lunch? Well, you guys will change. I will stay the same. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have a lot to learn, Devin. <laughs> Devin, are you ready to go shopping with me? Yes, I'm so excited. This season on Empty Suitcase for the American stores, we are going to all thrift and resale stores. Wow, we love an environment woman. We're gonna see how many items we can actually get at the thrift store before we have to supplement at other stores. Obviously thrifting is very hard for plus size people because shopping for clothes is very hard for plus size people. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to know how difficult it is? No, I don't. <laughs> so to give you an idea, uh, we looked at five popular shopping centers in Seattle okay. and we identified to find 101 places you could potentially buy women's clothing. Guess how many of those places regularly carry a size 20, which is me, okay. or over? 30 of them? So like a third? The number is six. And three of those shopping centers do not regularly carry a size 20 or above at all. Wow. So, hold on, we you know, like, wow. Something I think that is important to note here as well is if I'm above like a 24, mm -hmm. we can't make this show at all because the options for size 24 clothing items that are sold in stores drops precipitously from there. Obviously this isn't every store in Seattle and we just wanted to give you like an anecdotal idea of what it's like. So what about thrift stores? So there is a growing number of plus size only resale shops okay. in America. And today we are going to one of them. Excellent. We're going to go to Two Big Blondes. I'm gonna be looking for two outfits. Okay. One of them should be warm but for a water environment. Got it. And the other one should be for a classy night out. Okay, let's go shopping. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to Two Big Blondes. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for having of us. Of course. This store is 
gigantic. I walked in, I was like, cute. And then I kept walking and I was like, more. And then I kept walking and I was like, uh-oh, we're gonna be here for four hours. So tell me a little bit about your store. Well, we've actually been here for 22 years. Wow. And we have at least nine to 10,000 items in the store at any given time. So oh my a... God. So I noticed that nobody who actually works in the front of the store is a blonde. Yeah. What's the story behind that? Well, the original owners who started it 22 years ago were blonde and oh. big. And I am the third owner now, but it was such a good name and everyone knows it, so I didn't want to change it. You wouldn't want to change your hair color for No, I, I did try blonde once with a wig. It was terrible, so <laughs> not good for me. Is it time to go shopping? I'm ready to get my hands dirty. Oh my God, there's something cute over here. We gotta go. It's not gonna fit you, so don't go that fast. <laughs>
Oh my God. Thank you. This is like what you would wear when Seth Green was the hottest person on TV. Is it gonna be cold in this? No, here's the vision. You take something like this, you put a heavy jacket on it, you put tights on, you put boots and you like grunge it up. Yeah, Mike, duh. Are you ready for it, Michael? Hit with my vision. Hit like and subscribe. Devin, I know you were excited about this boohoo dress uh -huh. being a dress. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, she's a robe. Ooh, welcome to my threesome. Ooh. <laughs> By threesome, she means one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's three women getting together. For tea, what were you thinking? <gasps> Laura Birch, it's Ghost World. I love it. This is giving me waitress vibes. You know, the musical. I thought you meant the job. <laughs> oh, no, I love it. I you do not love it. I, however, found some boots that I'm going to be getting. <gasps> I love them. Yes. Well, okay, so this is still about me. Okay, right, you're right, right. <laughs> Oh my God. She's a top and a skirt. It's actually worked out mm -hmm. because the bridal top is a little hefty and the skirt was a little loose. So I tucked it underneath and now. Yes. It's one cohesive piece. Yes, it is. It looks gorgeous on you. <laughs> exactly. That's my French person impression. <laughs> Have you come to see the fall colors? <laughs> I'm the foliage, baby. I love it. I love this color on you. It does feel very summery, but we are doing an outfit that does involve water. So oh. I like that this is a kind of a bathing suit type situation. So mm -hmm. I can just be like, that's been my dream. It's just to get naked in public. Crossing my fingers. All right, Devin, you ready to eat your words? Oh no. We'll feast on this. Wow. You didn't like this skirt. I did not like that skirt. And, and here she is. I eat my words. I changed my mind. It looks great on you. Hello. Wait. It looks so good. <laughs> wow, we found so many great things here. And I really wish that like every city had a store like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lisa. We had a time. It yes. was so fun. That's awesome. I found a hat. <laughs> I know, Devin went shopping for Devin too. I did. That's right. We have yeah, a little hi. something for everyone here. Thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. It was so great to have you here. Have a great time in Seattle. Thank we will. you. We will. I just got back from doing some supplemental shopping for the things I needed, namely some shoes, some bags, a couple of accessories. It's dark outside. That's how long I've been shopping. That's why I look like I'm being lit in an interrogation cell. Ready to put these outfits together. Hello, Kristen. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, no. It's time for me to get ready for my day activity. Are you ready to watch me get naked? It's my favorite part of the show. <laughs> I haven't seen Kristen yet. I'm so excited. Get out here, girl. Here I am. Wow. Wow. Posing, 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 posing. posing. Hope I don't hip check you into the water. You won't. I'm grabbing onto the wood. Yes. <laughs> I got this jacket, this bathing suit, mm -hmm. and this skirt from Two Big Blondes, Ugh. as well as this beautiful bag. And then I use a skirt and the jacket as a cover-up. And then I got these little shoes from Nordstrom Rack. Bless Nordstrom Rack. So what are we doing today? Today, we are going to be going on hot tub boats. A hot tub in a boat on water. It's so cool. And that's why I asked you to wear a little bathing suit. I did. And why I'm wearing a little bathing suit under this jacket. I am so excited. Let's get in that tub. Tub me up. Yes. This is so fun. <laughs> is she the king of the world? She is. No, I'm taking five people on a boat. <laughs> Kelly's very worried about the boat. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, I've had lifeguard training. Look at that wind in your hair. Wow. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're having a lot of fun just taking photos of ourselves. <laughs> How can you not? You're in a hot tub boat in the middle of this gorgeous lake. I know, lake. look how beautiful it is. We have to make a rescue mission for Kelly's hat. We're turning the boat around. Wait, oh no, it's going that way. Yeah. Where is it? It's right there, it's oh. right there, it's right there. Oh, it's... <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> the hat is faster than we are. Point, point, point. It's like right there. It's more this way, it's more this way. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're gonna get it. She's within arm's reach, you guys. Yeah, a little more left. A little more left, oh, it's so close. Oh my God, please look at Oh, yeah! <laughs> Drama at sea! <laughs> wow, so glad something exciting happened. So 
dramatic. No one lose anything else. Wow, we should take more pics. We look so good right now. <laughs> I'm sad to be going back in, but it's about to rain. It is about to rain and we're hungry. But this has been a really fun group cuddle. Yes. <laughs> we made a group soup. <laughs> Getting ready for our night activity. Look to the big showstopper. If I could get my eye to stop watering, we'd be getting there faster. So you could say that my one eye is holding up this whole evening. <laughs> trying to get dressed right now and I had to go to a store to just get some tights and so I just grabbed an extra large and the extra large do not fit. I now have a sun deck on my ass. <laughs> I can't wait to see Kristen! Here I am! Oh my god! You look amazing! I got this top that was your idea uh -huh. and then Actually, I need your help right now. I explained already about the tights. They just aren't staying up. Which is awful. By the yeah. way, I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been shuffling around. So I was like, you know what? We're done. We're taking them off. They're dead. I'm not, dead to I'm not living my life like this. No, here's the trash. Oh. Goodbye, tights. <laughs> you, you missed the trash. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's why you're here. Put them in the trash. This is every plus size woman's nightmare. Is you have to buy something that doesn't fit, and then you just like hope to God that it stays on you, even though it doesn't. Well, we might as well be comfortable. I mean, this is what it's like. We're we're actually really doing it. So this jacket and this top and this skirt came from Two Big Blondes. Yes. And then I got these little boots and this big, beautiful statement bag from Target, as well as these little clips. We are at Ben Paris. Ben Paris. We are going to have an awesome dinner as well as some great cocktails from their cocktail program. I love a good cocktail. Are you ready to carry me home? Are you ready to carry me home? All right, we're gonna we'll, carry each we'll other. Carry home. each other home. <laughs> Let's go check Let's some go cocktails. Right. Let's go on a date. Yes. yes. What is this? This is our bar card for a little table side gin and tonic service. Our yes. taxi is here. Yes. <laughs> This is our Jen Griffey Juniper, named for Ken Griffey Jr. I'm a huge baseball fan. But what we do is we essentially make a Spanish-style gin and tonic. I've got a gin's infused with butterfly pea flower. When it reacts with tonic or citrus, it turns pink. Magic, it's Harry Potter! It's magic! Wow! <laughs> Just a little mist of absinthe around there. So we've got some Crab Louie there, we've got carrots. Wow. I'm gonna let you get started with eating, and guess what? I made more cocktails for you, too. Yay! Yeah. Our girl! We have so much homework. Yeah. Mom, I need an extension. You want to get that A? I want to get that A. No, we're sleeping. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank we you, my dear. We need to go to bed. It was a pleasure having you guys. Thank sweet, you. sweet dreams. Thank you, Abigail. We did it! We did it! We did it! So glad you're sitting so close to me because this jumpsuit smells very bad. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. It's got another day and a half on it. You know? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we had a really good time in Seattle. We put together some unexpected outfits with some unexpected elements. We had some mishaps. But to be fair, we had some unexpected activities. We do. did. We Seattle's did. Seattle's been so fun. I don't want to leave. Well, we have to. Well, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my love. We have so many people to thank. Thank you so much to the Ace Hotel, to Ben Paris, and to Hot Tub Boat for having us. Let us not forget about Two Big Blondes. Beautiful store, thank you for having us and providing such an incredible selection of fashion. Yes, we had a really good time. Thank you to Seattle and all the citizens for giving me coffee and thank food. Thank you, I love you every seagull who almost pooped in my mouth. Thank you. It's so like, I gotta go home now? We're going somewhere else now. Where are we going, where are we going? You're gonna find out soon. Put me on a plane, <laughs> shoot me in the sky. No, I The world is my oyster. I want you to live. <laughs> I won't talk to you if you're not my husband. Don't even look at me. Don't even give it a, a second thought, mister. Gee, lady, <laughs> do you like the news in 1920? <laughs>